And what a lot of people don't know about ladybugs is they're poisonous. <laughs> Did I? I'm Wisconsin. And in this patch of thistles is one of the most beneficial bugs for gardening you're ever going to see. The ladybug. Let me see if I can catch one. And almost everyone here is familiar with the ladybug. Here's one. It's a little bit cold this morning, so they're not quite as active as usual. That makes it easy to get a hold of a couple. They love these thistles. I'm not sure why. I think it's a research project at some point. But they're all over. Let's see if I can find some more. There's one right here. And I, you notice that they vary a lot. And this could even be very interesting different species of ladybug. Like, look at these two things in my hand. You can see that they're quite different. One is more of an orange. This one's kind of an orange red. This one's full blown red. This one, I think, must be a seven spotted ladybug. Because if you look, it's got about that many spots. This one's got a whole bunch of spots. I'm not going to count this one's spots. Oop, look at this one's about to fly. I think. Okay, no, he's not. No, he's not. Okay. You go back to, oh, here's a perfectly orange one. Here. Okay. He doesn't want to come out. So, ladybugs are a species of, despite the name bugs, they're not true bugs, they're beetles. Um, these guys. And they can fly. If you, just like other beetles, they have these outer wing casings. He's moving them a little bit, that'd be a good chance to look at how there's wings underneath those cases. He might fly at some point. He's trying to crawl. Normally when they crawl through the tips of my fingers like this is because they're looking for the highest vantage point to fly from. But he just doesn't seem like he quite has the energy. And what a lot of people don't know about ladybugs is they're poisonous. In fact, if I pick one up, you might be able to... Come here. Come here. Yeah, he doesn't have the energy. They have on the underside two little poison glands. And sometimes they'll secrete kind of this yellowish poison that personally feel has a very distinctive smell to it. Not necessarily a bad smell, just a very distinctive smell. And you'll just, it's, it's not a dangerous poison. I probably wouldn't be handling them if it was. But it's the kind of thing that can deter... You want to get back to your system? No, you don't. That can deter um, some of their predators like bugs, larger bugs. Even something as big as uh, a small mammal would bite onto that. And it would, it's very at least taste bad, if not causing them some actual... Uh, stomach upset and make them want to let it go and they eat these are actually voracious little predators they will eat all sorts of little bad bugs mostly aphids which is why they're so beneficial to gardening and I think that they're personally really pretty looking insects very recognizable and very cute insects and I think it's time I go ahead and let these two back onto their thistle thistles oh come here go. <laughs> you know, he wanted to go into the grass. And you... Nope. I'm with Johnson. We need a whole lot of fun on this episode. See you again soon.